Haru. Oh, opi di berasa. Uh. Dang. Where am I? Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Hey, Garus. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primark Fedorian. Primark Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. It's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. 
I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! You run off Palavin. Honey, kid, Thank you. <laughs> Not sure. Are you okay, girl? I'd appreciate it. Hi, mm. sure. man. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Right. Let's take them. Ah! Oh. 
Thanks, Liara. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavin Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. Oh, this is good, eh? Okay. I'm here. Oh, damn. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. Partner. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. Me. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garus! Garus! <laughs> sir, I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. Hey, Garus! James, this is Garrus Vakarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Who? Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military, gets results, popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What is that? What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications, which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this white right joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. Or the Android. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. Hmm. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! Harvester? General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Where are we going? Okay. James, that you breathing so hard? The atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Huh? Just being it. What do those Reapers look like Turians? You're right, they do. Eh. 
Fire down, fire.
go. Ah! He's dead. What is this? <laughs> ah, Shepard! Let's go, Shepard. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Shepard, Torrent is here. What's the word of the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick unless we find trouble. there my dad a sister how bad is it three million lost the first day five the second how's your military holding up look around that should give you some idea are you putting up a good fight for now but how long does it take before the fight's kicked out if they'd only listen to your warnings about the reapers we might have been ready maybe hard to figure how you prepare for something like this Shit. 
shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Hey, Garu, sorry. No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that, it's not surprising. What are you saying, Garus? Some it'll work. I mean, the sorry? Solarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Solarians came up with you. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Oh no, they are ah, telling people who don't know, right? First time, first time player.
General Victus? Is that scene? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Ah, uh, Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate to. You sound buffing. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by the book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life, it's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive and make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. I like that. Honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus. I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Paladin... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Unification of races. I apologize. 
apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time. And we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. I just went there. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Earth. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura's station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Any updates on Silver? <laughs> still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, Something. and it won't now. Bye. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Got new funding. One one five. <laughs> What? Ah, Carlos! A week. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. It sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. That there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. And when you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primark, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. 
Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. <laughs> thoughts and prayers. And mine with Earth. Oh. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Aria Telok. Ah, Aria. Uh, uh, Omega. Sita di dalam besi. Oh, Kaiden. Kaiden. Kaidan, what the? Tain? Ha 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 So this means Garrus Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat engineer. He was born on Palavan and became a Citadel security officer like his father, but left the force when Superior shut down his investigation into the rogue specter Saren Arterius. The Carrion eventually discovered that Saren had been indoctrinated by the Reaper known as Sovereign. The Carrion eventually found his way to the criminal haven of Omega. Major Caden Alenko, Dr. Karen Omni, the Genophage bioweapon was created to end the Krogan rebellions. The Turians fought the Krogan to a standstill but the sheer weight of Krogan numbers indicated they could not be stopped through conventional means. The Turians collaborated with the Solarians to engineer a genetic counter to the Krogan's rapid breeding. The genophage virus replicated by eating key genetic sequences, altering every cell of Krogan physiology, so the Krogan could not use gene therapy to fix the affected tissues. Once a genophage strain could replicate no more, it would starve and die limiting mutation and contamination. In addition, the created genetic flaw is hereditary. The resulting mutation made only one in a thousand Krogan pregnancies carry to term, reducing offspring viability rather than fertility. The Brute is a hulking amalgamation of Turian and Krogan victims of the Reapers. Because tissue from dextroprotein species like the Turians is incompatible with levo protein species like the Krogan, implants regulate the brute's body chemistry to combat organ rejection. It is the fusion of Turian military skill and Krogan blood rage that makes the brute such a formidable enemy, capable of destroying armored vehicles to get to the soldiers inside. Troops are advised to keep their distance and, whenever possible, not engage a brute alone. 
interesting. Marauders are harvested Turians that command and protect other Reaper troops. The lean, armored creatures present a significant threat in and of themselves, but they are especially dangerous when leading a Reaper task force. Alliance Marines have observed marauders fortifying husks and cannibals by enveloping them in a ribbon of energy that forms a scabby shell of armor. Mm. For this reason, when Alliance soldiers encounter a marauder alongside husks or cannibals, standing orders are to target the marauder first. The Reaper weapon, oh. nicknamed Black Star, is so advanced that Alliance scientists can only offer speculation about how it works. The gun appears to exploit an element zero core and mass effect fields to fire gravitational singularities, like micro black holes, that revert to their natural lethality when they impact a solid object. Researchers theorize that the blast tears apart the strong nuclear forces that hold the target's atoms together, resulting in a localized fusion reaction in light atoms and a localized fission reaction in heavy atoms. If that hypothesis is correct, the weapon alters nuclei, thus changing the chemical composition of the target. This mm. destroys organic tissue, corrodes surviving armor, mm. and leaves a visible trail of light-emitting particles. Black Star. The Reaper Ward. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. That's what I'm gonna find out. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. Must be the android. Yeah. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. DB humanoid transfer that would be nice is there a particular topic you wish to discuss Shepard <laughs> download it Edie yes you're in Dr. Eva's body not all of me but I have control of it it was not a seamless transition a transition you blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. <laughs> you mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, 
My first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> the fuck? On that, we can agree. Ah, the heck. Hi, Doctor. Was that Edie who just walked by? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Garus. Dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primarch. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primark Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> you mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from him? Long enough to be worried. Don't worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. I haven't heard from her since... I have a mother? Her. I'm sure sh she's... Okay. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Imminent Instead and of questioning death. your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? 
After what happened to you out there in Materian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for C-Sec, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector Base. <laughs> I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. A little more? We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. Let's go. That's all for now, Garrus. Damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Good to be back on board, Shepard. I'm more busy. It's nice to see Leora again. Bye. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. My camera. weeks on Palvin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. 
I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. In my life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Please for take me, Take some baby. time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Ma'am. Ma'am. How mess? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Bye. Oh. Bye, Gaga.